On Sunday, Jesus entered Jerusalem. Jesus' disciples brought a colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and had spread them on the ground, on the road. The crowds went ahead of him, and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. He drove out those who were buying and selling there and said, It is written, My house will be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Then Jesus left the city and went out to Bethany. On Monday, his authority was challenged. Jesus left Bethany and went again to Jerusalem. There he entered the temple courts. And while he was teaching, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him. By what authority are you doing these things? They asked. And who gave you this authority? But he would not tell them. On Tuesday, they sought to trap him in his words. Then the Pharisees sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians. Teacher, they said, we know that you are a man of integrity and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. You aren't swayed by others because you pay no attention to who they are. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it right to pay the imperial tax to Caesar or not? But Jesus knew their evil intent. He said, you hypocrites, why are you trying to trap me? That same day, Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him with the question, Teacher, they say, Moses told us that if a man dies without having children, his brother must marry the widow and raise up offspring for him. There were seven brothers. The first one married and died, and since he had no children, he left his wife to his brother. The same thing happened to the second and the third, right on down to the seventh. At the resurrection, whose wife will she be? On Wednesday, he warned the people of their hypocrisy. But do not do what the teachers do, for they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy, cumbersome loads and put them on other people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to lift a finger. Everything they do is done for people to see. They love the place of honor at banquets and the most important seats in the synagogues. They love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to be called rabbi by others. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brothers. And do not call anyone on earth father, for you have one father, and he is in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant, for those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. On Thursday, he ate his last meal. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when they had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. On that night they arrested him. Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd armed with swords and clubs, sent from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus replied, Do what you came for, friend. Then the men stepped forward, seized Jesus, and arrested him. Then all who had followed him deserted him and fled. On Friday he stood trial. The high priest said to him, Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. You have said so, Jesus replied. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? Look, now you have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? He is worthy of death, they answered. Then they spat in his face and struck him with their fists. They led him to Pilate who asked, Are you the king of the Jews? You have said so, Jesus replied. Then Pilate asked the crowds, What shall I do with Jesus who is called the Messiah? The crowd answered, Crucify him! So Pilate handed him over to be crucified. After they had beat him and mocked him, they led him out to Golgotha. And then they crucified him.
do.